In this video, I'm showing you how to edit your iPhone photos for amazing results. I'll be going over some tips, tricks, as well as applications that you can download that will make a huge difference in your photos. Let's go ahead, roll the intro, and jump in. Before we talk about editing our photos, I first want to give some suggestions for shooting your photos. The first one is to just make sure that your lenses are clean. It's quite common that people will rest their fingers on the lenses on the back of their iPhone, which can smudge them up and impact your final image. Take a look at these examples. One was taken with a clean lens and one with a dirty lens. As you can see, it makes a huge difference. Also, I'd recommend turning on the grid in camera settings. This can help you compose your shot a lot better. I'd recommend shooting photos that bring attention to the center of the frame. And if you're taking images of people, use what's called the rule of thirds and place their eyes on the top two thirds of the image. Finally, for those of you who have an iPhone 12 Pro, 13 Pro, or 14 Pro, I'd recommend turning on Pro Raw if you have enough storage space on your iPhone. As you'll see later, Pro Raw can give you way more flexibility in terms of editing your final image. With all that said, let's now jump into actually editing our photos. The first place I start my editing is actually the default photos app. It has a great built-in editor and the reason I go to this first is because it's very fast and responsive. You'll first notice the auto button which is a really great place to start. The system does a pretty good job at analyzing the characteristics of the photo and it's going to make conservative tweaks to the image. I find the auto button usually just makes the photo brighter overall and the average person is going to like the brighter image. The Photos app has a bunch of adjustment modes, but the ones I find that are most useful are exposure, brightness, saturation, and tint. You can greatly change the final image if you stick to only these four adjustments. You can see the original image without any edits if you tap on the image in the editor. And one more feature in the default photos app is the filters. These filters are really underrated in my opinion, and they can make for a really cool looking image. Apple hasn't updated these filters in a very long time, but they still do a very good job at adding a cool style to your final image. So try out these filters and let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. The next app is Adobe Lightroom. This is where we get a bit more advanced in our editing. Lightroom offers way more editing options and allows you to make very small tweaks and really fine tune the details of the final image. The application is a bit harder to navigate and isn't as user friendly as the default photos app, but the advanced editing options is really what makes Lightroom stand out from the other apps available. One of my favorite features of Lightroom is called the photo presets. Lightroom can analyze the characteristics of the image and can suggest you apply one of the built-in presets. These presets are different than filters because each preset is going to make its own adjustments to things like exposure, saturation, brightness, and more. I find using these presets work best on pro raw images because raw files have way more data about the original image and allows for way more flexibility for the editing software. Of course, you can still apply these presets to JPEG images images if you want to, but the outcome will be way better when using raw files. In your application, you may see different presets available, and this is because of your Adobe subscription. I am subscribed to Adobe Creative Cloud, so I have the premium presets available, and if you're not paying for Lightroom, you may not see some of these presets. Just keep in mind that even if you're using the free version of Lightroom, you can still get great results when editing your photos. The next application is what I use for touching up my images. Touch Retouch is one of the best applications for removing objects, lines, and blemishes from your photos. The tools that I use most are Object Removal Tool and the Line Removal Tool. A lot of editing apps allow you to do this with object removal, but in my usage and testing, I find that the content aware algorithm in touch retouch is one of the best available. I can completely remove a massive object from my photo and the app is intelligent enough to fill in the blank space and match it with the surroundings of the photo. This is really impressive technology. The line removal tool is probably what I use the most inside of this application. I constantly find myself taking photos with power lines in the shot and they really can ruin the look of the image. All you have to do is open the line removal tool and drag your finger across the line and it disappears like magic. This app is so good at removing lines, I can zoom all the way into the final exported image and I would never be able to tell where the lines were in the original photo. This still blows me away every time I use it. 
One final app I want to mention is called Layout. You may have heard of Layout before. It's made by Instagram and it lets you make a really simple photo collage. I chose Layout because it's by far the easiest app to use if you want to create a photo collage in just a few seconds. All you have to do is tap on the photos you want to include and the app is automatically going to create 10 different collage styles that you can choose from. Because the app is made by Instagram, the final collage will always be square, which is perfect for posting to social media platforms. It also has some other features features such as allowing you to mirror or flip an image and also add borders to the collage. The App Store has a ton of different choices for making photo collages and in all honesty there are some other applications with more advanced features but I picked layout for this video because most of you just want to create a really simple collage in a few seconds but if you want a more advanced collage application I'll have a few different choices linked in the description down below. So hopefully now after watching this video you'll be able to edit your photos and get much better looking images. The goal of this video was to provide useful editing tips for the average user and the average user doesn't want to sit through a long 30 minute tutorial on advanced editing techniques. You guys just want to know how to quickly edit the photo and get a nice looking result and hopefully I provided that in this video. So if you found this video informative and helpful please give us a like and also if you're not yet subscribed please click the button down below. My name is Michael with IDB Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.